we are going to start the superficial deep fascia of the gluteal region so in the superficial fascia if you know already the superficial fascia is laid with lot of fat especially in female and it is tough and stringy especially over the ischial tuberosity area okay and uh, why it is so tough and so bulky because it need to support the body weight in sitting posture and also it is having many cutaneous nerves vessels lymphatics so first in this diagram you can understand we are going to discuss about the cutaneous nerves so before discussing about cutaneous nerve you need to know that this uh, cutaneous nerve supply is divided into like uh, four quadrants you can see here this is a upper anterior quadrant this is the upper posterior quadrant this is a lower anterior quadrant then this is a lower posterior quadrant so coming to the upper anterior quadrant it is mainly supplied by upper and anterior part uh, of lateral cutaneous branches of subcostal t12 you can see lateral cutaneous branch of subcostal nerve that is nothing but t12 and also ilio hypogastric nerve which is l1 now so ilio hypogastric lateral cutaneous branch of ilio hypogastric nerve this is this one this is l1 and this is t12 t12 is a subcostal nerve so this is the two nerves which supply the upper anterior quadrant so very easy to remember t12 subcostal nerve this one small one and l1 ilio hypogastric nerve okay so now coming to the upper and posterior part this one this is upper posterior quadrant this is mainly supplied by the posterior primary rhomboidal nerves that is l1 l2 and l3 these are the posterior spinal rami of l1 l2 and l3 so they supply the upper posterior quadrant and also you have the s1 s2 s3 these are the dorsal rami so they also supply this upper posterior quadrant so here subcostal t12 l1 ilio hypogastric and here dorsal rami of l1 l2 l3 dorsal rami of s1 s2 s3 so next coming to the lower and anterior part so this is the lower anterior quadrant in this lower anterior quadrant is mainly supplied by branches from posterior division of lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh so you can see the posterior division of lateral cutaneous nerve and its values l2 and l3 its root value so this one next coming to the lower posterior quadrant it is mainly uh, supplied by the branches from posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh that is s1 s2 and s3 and also by the perforating cutaneous nerve that is s2 and s3 so this is about the cutaneous nerve supply of the gluteal region in the next part we'll discuss about the cutaneous vessels and lymphatics in this diagram you can see it's mentioned inferior gluteal artery and nerve and it has superior gluteal nerve and artery this is yellow one is nerve and red one is artery right so actually the cutaneous vessels are nothing but the blood supply of the skin and subcutaneous tissue is mainly derived from perforating branches of both superior and inferior gluteal arteries okay and lymphatics actually it's not shown here but the lymphatics of gluteal region mainly drain into lateral group of superficial inguinal lymph nodes So in the superficial lateral group of inguinal lymph nodes, this lymph of the gluteal region will drain. So next we'll discuss about deep fascia. For that you have this both diagrams. Actually, deep fascia is above in front of the gluteus maximus, right over the gluteus medius. So you can see here this is our gluteus medius muscle. So just above it you will find the deep fascia, right? So it is thick, dense, opaque, and pearly white over the gluteus maximus. However, it is thin and transparent. and the deep fascia splits and encloses the gluteus maximus muscle so mainly this deep fascia only split and encloses the gluteus maximus muscle so you can see here in this diagram it's mentioned gluteus uh, deep fascia of gluteus region one is the surface view and one is the vertical section in the surface view you can see this is the deep fascia of back of thigh this is the thin deep fascia over the gluteus maximus and this is the thick fascia over the gluteus medius and here you can see this is a deep fascia this green color one is representing deep fascia which is enclosing the gluteus maximus muscle and also enclosing the tensor fascia lata actually the ten tensor fascia lata is also called as deep fascia and you can see gluteus medius gluteus minimus muscle so this is about the superficial and deep fascia of the gluteal region next we'll discuss the main thing that is the muscles of the gluteal region